Hi Capricorn, right here. I feel the need to do another reading. Um, I have one I just did too that might post later. So, know to take what fits and leave the rest. Um, oh, know to take what fits and leave the rest. What is not for you may be for somebody else. There is no one way to read tarot. I do want to say that um, for those of you that think that there's rules here. Every tarot reader doesn't read the card the same way. And just because we are mentioning some of the meanings of the cards doesn't mean that we are reading the cards um, based on the meanings only. So I do want to put that out there for the smarty pants in the comments. Um, so yeah. So, know to take what fits and leave the rest. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South nodes. And we're going to see what is in the cards for you guys. What I'm doing, because I had another reading, I, and I, I'm, I'm probably not going to share that till later if I do. I'm just seeing how strong the energy is for Capricorn and like what's coming out. Messages for Capricorn. Any warning spirit. Messages for Capricorn, please and thank you. Thank you. This is going to be quick because I can feel it already. It's not going to be 20 minutes. Messages. Oh, Cappies. Oh my God. Okay. <gasps> I am done. So the first card. And just so you can see. These are the cards I have, okay? So nobody thinks I'm making it up or whatever. So first card I have is the Nine of Pentacles. This is you guys being comfortable with yourself, living the luxurious life, living your best life. When I see this card, it makes me think of somebody that's like, oh, I wanna buy that so I can buy that because guess what? Capricorn is financially stable by themselves. Capricorn is self-reliant. Capricorn doesn't need to depend on anybody else. Capricorn doesn't need to be dependent on anybody else. And this is like, <laughs> Capricorn, I'm having problems. Okay. So, here are the cards. The first card was the is that the way the first card was the nine the nine of pentacles i just read that one but let me go over it again just in case this is you being financially responsible for yourself you've gone through the seven and eight of pentacles which means you have worked on yourself you have invested in yourself you know your worth now you know that you're worth investing um, you've planted the herbs they've germinated They've come out of the ground, whatever the term is that we want to say. They sprouted. You've pulled them. They're drying. You're handling your business. And the next phase is to sell them with the Ten of Pentacles. But this is the Nine of Pentacles. This is you guys being totally self-reliant. You don't need anybody. The next card is the Two of Cups. Now with the Two of Cups, I see two people very attracted to each other. This is a mutual attraction. This is a partnership. This is a really strong connection. I feel like there's a lot of energy passing between the two of you. There may be a lot of chemistry. Um, this is somebody responsible for their own emotions, um, but they're capable of giving and you are responsible for your own emotions and your happiness and you know this and you are capable of giving and this is two people willing to give to one another with the two of cups.
The next card I have is the King of Pentacles. And I love this card because I feel like this card could represent you or this card could represent the other person. Now the King of Pentacles in Tarot is somebody that is very, very reliable. This is somebody that is um, going to make a person feel safe and secure. This is somebody that provides stability. And this person is smiling here. I feel like this person is smiling is because they're happiest when they are in a stable relationship. And with a stable relationship, I feel that this person understands that security is more than financial when you're involved with another person and it's a partnership. Security is actually making sure um, to be on the same page as the person that you're in a relationship with making sure that person has emotional security within the relationship. What does that mean, Nay? It means not doing stupid shit and then wondering why the person doesn't trust you. I think a lot of Capricorns have been in relationships. Crosswatchers, feel free to reverse the roles because I know Capricorns are not innocent all the time. But this is a person that knows that in a relationship, security is very important. This person will do what it takes to make sure you're secure in a relationship. This person won't act without thinking of how it may affect you. But I feel like Capricorn is happiest when Capricorn is in a secure relationship too with stability. I said a secure relationship, a stable relationship with security. And then here's the, this wolf. It could be a dog wolf mix. I don't know. Um, I just thought of a husky. But um, what I will say about this is this represents loyalty. This person may really be drawn to you because they get a sense of loyalty from you. And they know that when it comes to relationships, that you are more than likely somebody they can have stability and security with in regards to a relationship. The next, ooh, you know what? This person is sitting in a library, which takes me to the next card because I feel like this person might be a reader, somebody very intellectual that likes books. I like books, as you can see. But I feel like this person is really about their shit. And this person is gonna stimulate your mind. This person is gonna have you seeing life from a whole new perspective. You might get clarity. Um, in regards to how you see life and relationships now, especially after all of the things that you've been through. But I feel like this may have you seeing things in a totally different way. I feel like there's going to be a lot of chemistry. See those steps? This person may be somebody that's really willing to see things from a different perspective. I've, perspective. I feel like this person may be really open-minded and uh, really welcoming to new information. But I also feel um, that some of you may be meditating on the type of person that you want to come into your life. And this person may be doing the same thing. Think of all the things that you've gone through, like all the stepping stones that you've gone through in relationships in order to meet this person. And I feel like this person may have gone through some shit. But this person is going to be the type of person that's kind of like, especially if the relationship goes the way that it should go, is going to be like, okay, now I know why I suffered through all the crap with so-and-so. I was being built up to get to this level, to meet somebody that's on my level. And same for you guys. You're going to realize all the things that you went through popcorn ceilings, man. All the things that you went through were to put you in alignment with this person. I feel like this person, Capricorn, is going to blow your mind. I feel like this person is going to blow your mind. They're going to mentally stimulate, you, mentally stimulate you. I feel like they're going to mentally stimulate you so much. And see this? The lovers. It's red. Red has to do with passion. This is a passionate person. Do you see all the red in the background? So much passion. 
So this is going to be full of passion. This is your divine counterpart. For some of you, you may feel like this person is your soulmate. I feel like for some of you, you may feel like, oh my goodness, this person is all that I, the, the last thing I needed in my life to just feel like I'm good. Um, you know you're fine. You know that you are responsible for your own happiness. Nobody is responsible for that. But this could be the person that actually adds to your happiness. I feel like a lot of Capricorns have had people that for the first five minutes added for their to their happiness, but for the remainder of the relationship, it felt like they were totally taking from Capricorn. Cross watchers, reverse the roles if you need to. But I feel like with this, this person is going to have so much passion for you. There's going to be a lot of um, a lot of chemistry between the both of you. I feel like this person is going to blow your mind and totally stimulate you mentally. I feel like this person is going to get you so hot and bothered and turn you on so much Capricorn without even laying a hand on you. Without even laying a hand on you. They're going to electrify. That is confirmation. They are going to electrify your insights. I don't know what else to tell you. Woo! They are going to electrify your... Let me put my phone on. Do not disturb. They are going to electrify your insides. You're going to feel so much for this person. There's going to be so much mutual attraction <laughs> between the two of you. Ooh, I just got hot. Mm. I don't know why this just came to me, but I feel like this person's favorite movie is going to be The Crow. Isn't that with uh, Bruce Lee's son? I don't. Brandon Lee? Is that The Crow? I don't know, but that came to mind for me for some reason. And then at the top of the deck, I have the chariot card. There's a lot of red, a lot of passion. There's a red blanket there. This is a white horse, a black horse, the yin to your yang. This is two opposing forces working towards a common goal. This is willpower. I just heard stamina. Prepare yourself, ladies, do your kegels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, practice running now. Holy cow. I, this person's going to have a lot of stamina. <laughs> Some of y'all are going to refer to this person as a stallion. Oh my God, what in the heck? <laughs> oh, Capricorn, there's going to be so much passion here. Okay, give me a moment. Let me pull my little baby tarot. I don't know why I want to pull this. Oh, wow. I'm not even shuffling the cards. Look, the Ace of Wands. Okay? The Ace of Wands. It says it all. Somebody has the magic stick, guys. Or somebody's going to want it. So ladies, somebody has the magic stick, and guys, somebody's going to want the magic stick. Or if you like the magic stick, more power to you. I'm just saying. Oh my God, you! I can't even make this up. Look, I pull this from here, and look at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even shuffle this card. I had this card on my stand for like quite a few days. I, I, I just shuffle throughout the day sometimes. Oh my goodness, look at that. The lovers, and remember earlier I mentioned the Ten of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> I can't even. Holy, okay, I'm so hot right now. Okay, the reading is over. Oh my God. I think I'm hot because I'm a Capricorn too and I, I feel somebody coming and I'm just like, I'm not ready. And I know I'm not gonna be ready. Ooh. Capricorn, there's your reading. You're so welcome. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. I love you guys. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Congratulations and bye. <laughs> love you.